I find I have mixed feelings about the James Gunn thing. On one hand, I was very offended slash annoyed by how quickly everyone moved to throw Roseanne Barr under the bus. What, was that even a month ago? And so to see James Gunn go down in just a matter of hours in a similar fashion after he being one of the people to jump on that said fuck Roseanne bandwagon, I guess there's a element of sauce for the goose is sauce for the gander kind of going on there. However, I do not like the trend we're on or that we're already in where we're moving to a world where your ability to, to function and earn a living and not be homeless is dependent on how well you self monitor yourself on social media. Um, do I think James Gunn was a pedophile? Probably not. Does James Gunn have a dark fantasy life, maybe? Yeah, maybe. Does he deserve to have everything in his life destroyed over it? Probably not, especially considering that he's been said public figure with a large Twitter following for years and only now has this become an issue and here's i think one of the essential core things that's wrong with this whole james gunn situation the mike cernovich connection the fact that this just just wasn't some random tweet that that got a bunch of social justice warriors uh been out of shape because it was shared amongst them and stuff what, what this was was an actual real witch hunt, not a lot of figurative. I mean, well, um, James Gunn's not a witch, so it's not a literal witch hunt in that way. But but the way that Mike Cernovich and his little cabal specifically go about searching through people's back history on social media to find things to to burn them with at the stake. Uh, I just I I guess here's my thing about the walk away movement. Uh, I'm, I'm all for seeing people abandon the Democratic Party, but that doesn't mean you need to go rushing into the waiting arms of the right or the Republicans or conservatives. They, it's not just to call them mirror images. They're all the same creature. I mean, the Democrats and the Republicans way, way long, 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 long time ago, like before the Civil War, before the Southern strategy, like long time ago, they were the Democratic Republicans. They were one party and that has split into two. And the fact that they both like, you gotta consider if you consider yourself aligned against social justice, you have to be really careful about realigning yourself with people who on the surface say they condemn how social justice warriors operate, but at the same time are willing to cynically employ the same tactics. Is James Gunn being fired from Guardians of the Galaxy and everything he's doing with Marvel Studios and probably he's gonna lose his Sony contract for whatever he's developing with them, it's probably gonna go away too? No, he doesn't deserve that, not in the least. It's not even just. I'm sorry. I'm trying to figure out how I want to phrase it best. Those of us who are concerned about the Marvel project also need to take note of some of the things going on. The James Gunn is not the first attempt from the, the fringe right, the online right, to try to make a stab at Marvel's dominance. Uh, the, the fact that there's the amount of people even coming out in James Gunn's defense uh, shows how like powerful a hold the Marvel movies seem to have taken on our culture. We're, we're very forgiving of what they do. 
we're, we tend to be more forgiving of the messaging they put in those movies. Uh, the actors kind of get a little bit more leeway than what we're willing to give other actors, so on and so forth. Because, hey, they've been delivering us really high quality product, film after film after film, so who could blame them? And we want to see this thing continue. And it's just as fans, it's not like we personally invested with our money or anything beyond what we spend to see it. Several weeks ago, there was a kind of a fake, real brief uproar. It didn't stick at all, but of trying to like make a stink out of Brie Larson's comment about 40-year-old white male critics and trying to say, like, oh, my God, Marvel's going to turn social justice. You idiots, Marvel's already been social justice this whole goddamn time. They just do it well. They do it smart. They don't brow beat you over the head with a stick and tell you what a horrible person you are while they're doing it, like other franchises do. But it, it's always been there. I, I fully expect Captain Marvel to be full of girl, girl power stuff, just the same way that Black Panther was full of black empowerment stuff. And it's fine. We live in an infinite universe, people. There's room for everything. You're not just allowed to like one thing and people are allowed to make more than one thing. And it's cool. It's, it's fine. As long as they don't adopt the attitude of like, well, we got to get rid of these other things to make room for these new things. Cause that's, that's the false equivalency that there's room for everything. You don't have to watch it or you can watch it. I'm fully expecting Captain Marvel to have a bunch of girl power themes. Cause that's what Captain Marvel's about. And so it's appropriate to be in her movie. If they were trying to do that in a Captain America movie, no, then that would be a problem because that's like you're diminishing your central male hero in order to be able to, like, I guess, prop up Black Widow. I don't know what they would do in that scenario specifically, but it wouldn't be appropriate for that. But for Captain Marvel, oh, yes, totally. It's also it's set in the 90s. I mean, I was like the era of the Spice Girls and stuff. And yeah, it's going to be full of girl power and you just need to go ahead and get yourself ready for that so it's not some terrible thing being done to you when it happens. Um, but now, with James Gunn being knocked off Guardians 3, it's like I said, the Brie Larson thing didn't seem to stick at all. It just the news cycle went on, and everyone's still basically still yelling at Kathleen Kennedy to really want to get the too deep into theory that Marvel's going to try to corrupt our youth with degenerate messaging or some other ridiculous, fake, non-issue concerns people have oh my god our silly entertainment movies don't perfectly reflect my moral values <laughs> james gunn's a bigger deal because the studio did cave in real quick and fired his ass and he's not just the director of guardians sing so uh, guardians of the galaxy 3 he's also the writer uh, so how much of, of what Guardians of the Galaxy 3's pre-production has already been set up is about to get thrown out? Or are they still going to use his scripts? How much do they have to scrub him uh, out of the Marvel Universe now? Uh, also, uh, if people are to hold themselves true to the standards they've given themselves during the whole Me Too movement and stuff, I mean, we, we, we're... They've gone back and have scrubbed Kevin Spacey out of a movie and making it harder to find uh, stuff of his to watch. And the, um, I'm sure there's probably been issues with uh, finding uh, Rose episodes of Roseanne to stream and stuff like that since then. Because, I mean, well, she was a racist this whole time, so we can't go back and still enjoy her old shows now, can we? And so by that same logic, I guess uh, the Guardians of the Galaxies 1 and 2 now invalid movies because they were made by a guy who made a few too many pedophile jokes. And I guess in the end, that's why I'm not 100% either way on either side about having opinion about what happened to James Gunn. I, I think as, as an overall trend, it's bad, but he brought it on himself. Because when you're working for a company like Walt Disney, I think you're really only allowed to make so many pedophile jokes before you get fired. And it's not like you just had a couple. So, eh. Find new material, buddy. Hit like and subscribe.